we're going to worship this morning. We can't wait to worship with you. So stand up, join with our motions, and sing along with us this morning. I don't know where you lay your head or where you call your home. I don't know where you eat your meals or where you talk on the phone. I don't know if you got a cook, a butler, or a maid. I don't know if you got a yard with a hammock in the shade. But come and go with me to my father's house. Come and go with me to my father's house. It's a big, big house. With lots and lots of room A big, big table With lots and lots of food It's a big, big yard Where we can play football Touchdown! Big, big house It's my father's house you got some shelter, say a place to hide. I don't know if you live with friends in whom you can confide. I don't know if you got a family, say a mom or dad. I don't know if you feel love at all, but I bet you wish you had. So come and go with me to my father's house. Come and go with me to my father's house it's a big big house with lots and lots of room a big big table with lots and lots of food a big big yard where we can play football touchdown it's a big big house it's my father's house Sing that again with us. Come and go. So come and go with me to my father's house. Come and go with me to my father's house. It's a big, big house with lots and lots of room. A big, big table with lots and lots of food. A big, big yard. Where we can play football A big, big house So come and go with me To my father's house Come and go with me To my father's house It's a big, big house With lots and lots of room A big, big table With lots and lots of food A big, big where we can play football touchdown big big house it's my father's house hi kids this is miss mari my name is miss mari and um you know what we're gonna have our lesson our emoji it's the emoji series and um our lesson we are doing the sick emoji and um i have on my phone here here's the sick emoji and we are gonna learn about how to, the emoji face we are going to learn um about praying for people that have that are sick and how god wants us to pray and i'm excited because we have some little fur friend visitors today and um, they're going to help us remember some bible lessons in about praying and so it's going to be fun we are going to actually talk right now about um, praying for those who are sick and um, i wanted to to pray for, uh, for this lesson right now um, and so I'd like you, if you could bow your heads, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I'm just so thankful for you, Jesus. Uh, I'm just so thankful for the children that are out there listening. And I pray that they, they, we will learn 
more about you, Jesus, and how you healed so many sick people and you listen to our prayers. I just pray for the children and their their families and their loved ones and anyone that is sick, I pray for healing. And let's say in Jesus' name, amen. All right, kids. We um I just would love to uh uh to um before we read, actually we have a memory verse every week. And um, I'd like to read the scripture, and, but I want you to know we have some, oh, and I already told you about that. Let's read our memory verse about praying. Um, it's, it's in the book of Ephesians 6, 18. At all times, Pray by the power of the Spirit. Pray all kinds of prayers. Be watchful so that you can pray. Always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. And that, again, is from in the Bible, Ephesians 6.18. Boy, that is a, a wonderful prayer or a wonderful scripture. And you know, I wanted to, in, uh, regarding that scripture, I wanted to tell you that all prayers are important to God. He loves you and wants to hear all your prayers. And you know what? Prayers can be different sizes. We can have small prayers, medium-sized prayers, and you know, large prayers, extra small prayers, all kinds of prayers God wants to hear from you. And you, if you might think, well, it's not important, it's important to him. And I wanted to, to share with you um, some furry friends that will help us remember all the different sizes of prayers are important to God. So let's start with our first furry friend. See this, kids? Look at this. This is a big bunny. And guess what? Can you guess the name? The name is Toodaloo. Look at how big she is. And you know, today she's going to represent, she's going to represent that we got to remember big prayers. Well, big prayers are prayers when someone's really, really sick and, um, um, you know, prayers for the family, if there's a death in the family or divorce, those are big prayers. And of course, God wants to hear, hear those prayers, those big prayers. And he can do healing. He will, do, all things are possible with God. And so, toodaloo, you represent big prayers. So it will remind us, we got to pray for the big prayers, healing of the sick people. All right, let's get our next bunny. And look at who we have here. This is Piccadilly. And you know what? What do you think? Is Piccadilly kind of a medium size? I would say that. Medium size to Toodaloo. She, Toodaloo was pretty big. So Piccadilly, you know what? You, you would represent the medium-sized prayers. What would be an example for a medium-sized prayer to, to ask God? You know what? You know, we could um, go to God if we had a, a difficult test at school that we were going to have, and we could pray to God to ask that, that you know, it, you help you study and help you pass the test. Or um, if we, we, we got hit or someone hit us, you know, and we pray for that person that, that w hit us and, that, or, and pray for them or pray for, for us to stop hitting our, you know, a, a, a child that was, was um, not being nice. So those would be medium prayers. What do you think, 
Piccadilly? Yes. Okay, let's go on. Okay, and look at what we have here. This is Lily, and she's a small bunny. And this is Silly, very super small. She is littler. And you know, God wants to hear about all your small prayers and your, your small and super small prayers. You know, even if you, if you uh, stubbed a toe or it was still hurting, oh, pray God, that goes, goes away quick. But he just wants to hear about all sizes of prayers. Right, Lily and Silly? Yes. All right. Weren't those bunnies something? Oh, that was fun. Well, okay, let's bring it back to our scripture. And this is about the, the sick woman that was healed by Jesus. And before this, uh, right before this, this scripture started, Jesus was walking to go heal a, a young girl. And so on his walk, let's hear Luke 8, 42, 48. It says, as Jesus was on the way, the crowds almost crushed him. And a woman was there who has been subject to bleeding for 12 years. That's a long time she was sick. But no one could heal her. She came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak. Could you imagine just her? The cloak is a robe, the robe of Jesus. She must have got into the crowd and just wanted to touch it. And, um, and immediately her bleeding stopped. She was healed. And you know what? You know what Jesus said? He says, who touched me? Jesus asked, when they all denied it, Peter said, the people are crowding and pressing against you. But Jesus said, someone touched me. I know that the power has gone out from me. That's what Jesus felt, the power go out from me, him. Then the woman, seeing that she could not go unnoticed, was trembling. She must have been just so amazed that, that she got healed instantly. And she fell at Jesus' feet in presence of all the people. She told why she had touched him and how she had been instantly healed. Then he said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. Too awesome. And you know, the woman, I'm feeling that she might have been praying even for those 12 years. And, um, and you know, it, it just, uh, that tells you that the, all things are possible for God and we need to pray and and this woman, she believed in the power of Jesus. And, and he, that he is our loving father. And you know what? She had faith. She had faith that he would be able to heal her. And what is faith? Faith is to believe. I mean, he is the almighty savior, king of kings, son of God, all, all the wonderful names that Jesus has. And almighty is he. He can heal and heal the sick and bring life back. Because after that healing, he went to heal the little girl. Well, guess what? The little girl was already dead. What did Jesus do? He raised her from the dead. So our God is amazing. Again, what can we do if someone is sick? We pray, yes. And make sure to pray for those that are sick, even pray for yourself. And, and so we are gonna do a really 
fun little uh, true and false. Um, and I want to make sure that, um, that there's little surprises with truth. If they're true, I want you to hop like a bunny since we got our furry friends with us. If they're false, I want you to stomp. Because bunnies, that means no, stomp when they stomp. So um, what we'll do is we'll uh, go into the true and false questions that you can answer. I wanted to let, um, okay, the woman had, is this true or false? The woman had a disease that was incurable at the time, meaning she could never get um, well. Is that true or false? It's true. Did you hop? Okay, the woman believed, the next one is, the woman believed if she could touch Jesus' robe, she would be healed. Are you going to hop if that's true or stomp? Did you hop? Because it's true, so I hope you're hopping like a bunny. All right, the next one is the woman was not healed until Jesus looked at her. Now, is that true or false? A hop or a stomp? Guess what? It's a stomp. Nope, that's false. Prayers do nothing to help the sick. Is that true or false? A hop or a stomp? It's false. Well, okay. What we're going to do is... Um, is um, have a, a, have some fun furry friend facts since you answered two true, two facts about the bunnies that we saw. Okay, let's learn a fact about Silly. A fun furry friend fact. Why is she called Silly? Do you know? Well, all you have to do is look underneath her nose. What's underneath that? It's a mustache. Is that why you're called silly? You, oh yeah, you're squirrely. It, she has a mustache and you are silly. Here's another furry friend and we're gonna find out the fact about Piccadilly. What is Piccadilly's favorite food? Banana, Piccadilly, Piccadilly. Whoa, she loves those bananas. Oh, that's good. And there you go. There's your fun furry friend facts. Hey kids, let's say a big prayer, just like big toodaloo. And we want to all bow our heads and and pray all right you ready oh heavenly father jesus we're just so thankful that you know we just so thankful for this lesson and that we have reminders that we can pray for all the sick and we pray for our family and our loved ones and that we'll remember because either a big prayer or a little itty bitty rabbit prayer little prayer like a little rabbit that we will always remember to do that because you are a healing healing father and we'll say it in your always in your almighty name in jesus name amen okay kids you have a happy day and uh, i love you all including toodaloo bye bye <laughs>